Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we will solve a new problem in array. So basically we are given an array where adjacent elements differ by one position, right? So like this case we have 7 then uh, next is 6, right? So here the difference is 1, again the difference is 1. So it can be decreasing, it can be increasing, it can be in any order but the adjacent element are differ by one position. And in this case, we need to find out the first occurrence of any given element, right? So like in this case, let's say if I uh, need to find out the first element of 5, so I would return 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 index, so I would return 4, right? Now let's say if it is 6, so I would return this one, 1, right? So this is my, this is my problem, that given an array where every adjacent element are differ by one position, you need to give me the first, first occurrence of a particular value, right? So let me solve it by using uh, this example. So like uh, say you have this one array where you have difference by one position which is 7, 6, 7, then again 7, 6, 7, 6, then 5, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, right? And let's say if you need to find out the uh, first occurrence of 2, right? So you would return this index of this position, right? So this was uh, like here our position was earlier it was the uh, it, it was the greater position and here we have lower position now it can be opposite also like let's say if we start from the lower lower value which is 2 and let's say if we need to find out 6 right so the first occurrence of 6 is this position so for both the arrays we need to return the first index for a particular value right so one approach is brute force approach like we'll start from the 0th index and one by one we'll one by one check that if our value is the given value and if value is same then just return the index right so like let's say if i need to find out 2 so i would first check this one so whether this is 2 no again this is 2 no again this is 2 no right so what you are doing here that one by one we are checking with each element in array right so in this case, our complexity will be big of n, right? So this is one approach. Now there is some one good and optimized approach. So basically, we are we, we can uh, we can get benefit of our pattern that each element has differed by one position, right? So in this case, what we can say that let's say this is seven. So what your value is? Your value your target value is two, right? So what is the difference? Take the difference of it so the difference is 5 right so if difference is 5 then I'm sure that if this is a starting index so let's say starting index 0 so I'm sure till 0 plus 5 means till here this element can't occur right because I know the difference is of 1 okay so let, let me explain through this one so let's say what can be the position so this can be like 6 then, then 7 6 5 4 3 2 right so this is the ideal case which can happen right that each element is in decreasing one and the difference is one so in this case uh, what is the index of this one so this is 0 then 1 2 3 4 5 right so this 2 is occurring at fifth index right so this is what I'm saying that whatever your target value is so target value is 2 first of all take the difference of the value the which you are measuring so like in this case I am I'm at this one so 7 minus 2 which is 5 so I know and increase your start by that value by the difference so now if my at the starting if my index was so let's say so at the starting if my start was at 0 if my start was at 0 and what is my diff so my diff in this case is uh, 7 minus 2 which is 5 right so now my new start will be it will be earlier start plus diff right so now this will be at fifth index so I would directly jump my value to the fifth index so fifth means here so 1 2 3 4 5 so so what has happened here basically you have skipped all these positions right because I'm sure that there cannot be this target value because the difference is difference is 5 right so my start would be at my start would can my start can happen at this position so I will again check at this position again the value is 6 
again I will take the difference so 6 minus 2 is 4 again I will jump by 4 positions so my start will be 1 2 3 4 so now I will reach here again my value is 4 right so again I will take difference of I will take difference of 4 minus 2 2 so again jump by 2 position 1 and 2 and yes here value is exactly matching right so this is how we'll do we'll take the start variable and we'll take the difference of that value to the target value and jump by that value right so let me show through code what I mean so this is my code first find first occurrence if adjacent value differ by 1 and I'm passing array and the target value so this is for the negative case that if your error length is 0 then return minus 1 else take a variable start uh, equal to 0 and do this until start is less than array dot length right now if your start is equal to value it means return the start that is your position now if it is not the case so take the difference so take the difference of the value of the start minus 1 minus value and here I am taking the absolute so why absolute because uh, as I explained in the second case that it can happen that my this value is lesser and the target value is greater right so in this case it would be negative so that is why I am taking as difference and now increase your start by start plus difference right and keep on doing that and if you match the value then return start else return minus one right so let me explain you through this code so let me start debug point so that you will understand it better so your array is this complete array right and now what is difference so difference is 5 so now your start will be at fifth position right so now take the difference so again our difference is 4 so jump your start by fourth position so now your start is at ninth position again take the difference so now difference is 2 now your start will be at 11th position now check so yes here we have the match so return start right now take the second example so now here I need to find out 6 so take the difference difference is 4 so now your start will be at fourth index again take the difference so your difference is at 1 so fourth index means first of all it directly jumped from here to here right and again it will the difference is 1 so now it will meet so yes here it will meet and you could see that it has returned you the fifth index now let's take some negative test case so let's say my value is 21 right so there is no such value so in this case what will happen if you run the program it will return you minus 1 right so this is how this is how we can check the first occurrence of any value if your adjacent values are deferred by one values right and guys this is very important question because uh, here my difference is 1 in some of the cases a question is difference by 10 uh, difference can be 20 or difference can be anything right so you need to you need to apply this property that if your difference your difference property should you always apply and your start will jump to that position right so what is the complexity so in this case also the complexity is big of n right because we are iterating in we are iterating once in a in a position so in the worst case it can be one uh, when your difference when you are differing basically each by one position but but it is optimized solution as you can see that basically we are uh, not iterating each and every element we are basically jumping the uh, we are basically jumping the values right so this is what the difference is uh, in optimized solution and the brute force solution so this is obviously better than this so that's it guys about this video if you have any doubt please write in the comment section and guys if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you